Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dr. Jared Vasquez, the Octagon Doctor, and this is our coverage for UFC on ESPN3. Let's start with the results for the preliminary fights. Uh, there were some great fights in there. Of course, Maurice Green, the crochet boss, uh, was fighting Junior Albini, best known for fighting in diapers inside the Octagon, the worst UFC fight kit <laughs> ever. Uh, of course, Amanda Ribas picked up a solid win uh, by rear naked choke and an almost uneventful uh, female fight. Uh, Luan Giambula, hope I'm pronouncing that right, a fellow African um, fighting uh, in the same card as Ngano. So this is almost, this is a really cool thing that the UFC does where a fighter will be from an area uh, and they will bring in some talent from the area. So I think this is this paving the way for the, the huge uh, army of African fighters that are getting the UFC. And I think it's awesome. The guy looked like a stud, real solid, uh, striking and very explosive, very, very explosive. Uh, Jared Gordon and Dan Moray uh, showed us that even if you're winning in the first round, if you make the bad, if you make bad decisions repeatedly, you're going to find yourself tired and full of lactic acid uh, as Dan Moray did. He was fighting a great first round, getting some clinch, putting in some nice knees in there. But second, third round, he kept fishing for that takedown uh, on that guillotine that it, it just didn't came through. I mean, we see guys do this over and over again. And of course, we had to put ourselves in their place they're fishing for that guillotine it's a, a position that you know you rest a little bit but you're giving the dominant position and that is not good next fight eric anders uh, of course in the fight before jared gordon got an easy decision uh just because uh, dan moray just he was just too tired and finally for eric your boy anders he's back on the win column not a particularly tough opponent but he's back on a, on a win column after two tough defeats the real star here tonight of the prelims was Ricardo Ramos with some crazy, crazy Yair Pantera elbows. Uh, let's give it up for Journey Newsom. He got hit exactly. Let's pull up the picture so you guys can see exactly in his mouth and teeth. He had to lose some some dental pieces, most definitely, and that's responsibility of that unpadded elbow joint. Can I compare some with bare knuckle fighting? It's bare elbow fighting right there and that is as powerful as any other surface you can strike with so let's be real when we analyze both things let's keep watching usc on espn3 a lot more highlights to come thank you for all the support you guys giving me on the videos keep watching we're going to bring more fire content here to the channel